All right, this is the second part of my series on countdown, ways of practicing it and working on it. And the first concept we talked about in the last video was using minor pentatonics over the tritonic system. And just to, to recap briefly, uh, first of all, this is an etude that utilizes the minor pentatonics. And so the example I'll be playing isn't this etude itself, but this is just kind of to show you how the minor pentatonics might work, one example of using them in this etude, uh, which is posted on my blog. You can download it uh, if you want to practice the etude specifically. But in this example, I'll be improvising using these minor pentatonics. And one thing to notice is that on beats one and two, uh, we'll just be playing the minor triad and basically focusing on starting the minor pentatonic on beat three of the first bar of each of these um, four bar phrases. The last four bars I'll just be improvising freely over, not necessarily using pentatonics there. So we start with a D minor pent for the F7 and the B flat major, B flat minor pent for the D flat 7, G flat major, F sharp minor pent for the A7, D major. And you can see that these descend by major third. And we do the exact same system on the next four bars, same system on the next four bars. So I'll play this first chorus. This is me just improvising using the concept over uh, I real be at about 150 BPM. So I'll just play the first chorus, talk about, about it, and I'll point to where I am in the form and what pentatonic scale I'm using. So you get the idea. I was being very clear about playing straight up the minor pentatonic scale for each of these uh, minor pentatonics through the tritonic system. Just to make it very clear where those minor pentatonics fall in the harmonic rhythm. So this next chorus, I'll play another kind of sequential idea. In other words, playing the same uh, melody from the pentatonic scale on each chord. the idea. Again, this that last line was just a descending minor pentatonic idea, and then a little bit of improvising on the last bar of each of these four bar phrases. Okay, next chorus. <laughs> So again, a simple minor pentatonic melody played down by major thirds through the whole progression. So you could do this, take this approach to practicing over this progression pretty much endlessly. You could just pick one minor pentatonic melody and play it through the form. It's a great way to get familiar with utilizing the concept. Obviously when you're soloing, you're not going to do too much sequential, uh, certainly not playing the same sequence through the entire first 12 bars. But Doing that gives you a lot of fluency with shifting between the pentatonics, so it's a good way to practice. Okay, we're going to next the next chorus now. <laughs> So in this chorus, I really start improvising and just trying to flow between each of the minor pentatonics seamlessly, hopefully seamlessly, and shifting 
the five notes set right at beat one, or sorry, at beat three of each of these tritonic systems so that it's perfectly adhered to. Doing the sequential method first will help you hear that and know where to shift. Uh, and so that was just kind of flowing through each of the pentatonics all the way through the form. Okay, I'm going to continue now. This is another chorus of similar material. You'll also notice that I'm not playing much on beats one and two of any of these four bar phrases because I'm trying to focus on using the pentatonic starting on beat three. If I were to utilize material in the first two beats, I would just use these minor triads. So I might play two, three, or four notes from E minor and then D minor and C minor. So I'm not, uh, I'm thinking of these as kind of independent moments setting up this descending minor pentatonic system. All right. <laughs> So that's the same thing kind of flowing through it. So I was, my cursor got a little bit ahead of head there. Um, but yes, that's the same concept, just flowing through the minor pentatonics and trying to be creative and improvise, not necessarily knowing ahead of time where I'm going to go, but using your ears. And since this is a concept, uh, you know, through repetition and working with the concept, you will start to hear melodies that utilize the concept. It might just take a long time but it's worth the effort. It's a fun way to play over the progression. Makes it a lot less restrictive in a way. Uh, next chorus. <laughs> So you get the idea. That's just basically the first step in practicing this minor pentatonic concept over countdown. You know, start with sequences, maybe just ascending or descending with each scale in a sequential way, then maybe something more ornate in terms of a melody, then practice just flowing and improvising. And really you can inter you know, mix and match those different methods as you go. And as you get better with the concept, you'll definitely gain more and more vocabulary from the concept. So uh, in the next video we'll look at some other ways of, of isolating uh, tools to practice countdown, uh, mostly focusing on smaller note sets than these minor pentatonics. Um, for, for instance, just triads. And there's a lot you can do with that, which ends up being a really good way to improvise over something this complex. Okay, hope that's helpful. See you on the next one.